Alachua County firefighters recently teamed up with Ronald McDonald to teach kids some lessons in fire safety at local McDonald's restaurants. Alachua County Public Safety Public Education Coordinator Joey Malfers tells us why it's important to get this message to children. We're at a McDonald's tonight trying to get a fire safety message across to the children. Every year we do three events with McDonald's where we bring out the fire truck and Ronald and spend a little time educating children about some of the importance of fire safety. This year's theme is prevent home fires. We like to think that our homes are the safe place. However, sometimes they are the source of many fire injuries that occur throughout the year. So we're just gonna bring a short message to the children about fire safety in their home. I've got Ronald with me tonight, so we're gonna ask him a couple of questions about fire safety. Hey, Joe. Hey, I'm so glad to be here. We're having a great time at the 39th Avenue McDonald's. Uh, Calvin Paris, our owner, every single year we do this and we have a great time teaching kids about fire safety. What are some of those things that we uh, teach children about fire safety? What, are we, what do we tell them to do if their clothes catch on fire? Oh, it's so important that you stop, drop, and sesame seed, but wait a minute, what is it? Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. <laughs> now, also, we, uh, I mentioned a while ago that we want every house in Alachua County to have a working smoke alarm. Is that an important thing that people test their smoke alarms? Hey, it certainly is. Uh, and I'd say what's even more important is that you make sure those batteries are working. This is true. Every year we ask people to check their smoke alarms at least once a month and change their batteries twice a year. We have Safe Kids of North Central Florida with us an organization that works out of Shands. And I've got Dr. Willis with me tonight. And one of the uh, latest trends that we've seen is that the number one reason for admission to the trauma unit at Shands for pediatrics is burn injuries. And this concerns us a little bit. So Dr. Willis is going to speak a little bit about how important it is that we teach children fire safety. Thank you, Joey. One of the things that we're most concerned with is a lot of these are not fire burns. They're skulls and kitchen burns. So it's really important that we make sure that our children are very aware of how to use anything around a microwave or a stove to make sure that everything is going to be safe for them, uh, especially for our kids that are putting stuff in the microwave like mac and cheese or hot dogs. So we want to make sure that they are very, very careful and that the parents are very clear about what is good for them and what is not. Why is it important that we have events like this to make our communities aware of all the potential for injury? Well, it's really good because the kids, first of all, get to see the fire truck. They get to associate that with the firemen and the EMS. and, and it's important for them to come out with their parents and to hear their parents talking and us telling them this is a real problem with the burns and the skulls. So it's real important that they are here and they hear that message from their parents, from the firemen, from the EMS, heck, even from safe kids. We're real proud of what we're doing in this area and, and keeping our kids safe. Fritz, can you tell me why it's important that uh, children come out to an event like this to uh, be able to see the fire truck and interact with the firefighters. I think it's extremely important to have an event like this for the kids to get familiarized with the fire trucks and the event that there's an emergency. They're not afraid when we when we come there, we show up and they can they can know they can trust us and that we're here to help them. I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight to McDonald's here on 39th Avenue. I want to thank McDonald's of Gainesville and Ronald, the firefighters from Station 16 who allowed the children to look at the truck and to interact with them. And we just encourage people to practice fire safety year-round here in Alachua County.